Homegrown Radio. A positive mindset creates a positive life. Life is sweet and it pleases our eyes to see the sun. With those words, consider self created. I am your boy, Tick AJ, and this is Power of Positivity. Basically, we are broadcasting live from Homegrown Radio in Century on 01. Tour. Today we are going into details. We are going to speak about the book uh, written by Kuzo. So basically, my guest is Kuzo. Kuzo, how are you doing, bro? Yeah, man, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, my Jing. Shara, shara, shara. Shara. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, can you please uh, introduce yourself to the, to the listeners and the viewers at, at home? People want to know you. Good, like, who is Kuzo? What is doing? We are yeah, like. Yeah. Tell us more about it, guys. Um, I am Kuto Shilago. My pen name is at Moon during the day. One word. Yes, that is my yeah. Instagram handle as well. Sure. Um, I've been a poet for the past nine years of my life. You know, almost a decade. Yeah, a decade. I am a That is a decade. So yeah, um, that's that's who I am. I've been a poet for nine years of my life. I am uh, an electromechanic. Yeah. All right. Um. So mm. I play. The bass guitar, I play the drums, I play the acoustic guitar, I play the piano as well. Mm. Um, by saying I act, I do a lot of things. Um, we, I am what we call in, in the art industry a multidiscipline. So, so that's, okay. that's where that I'm is concerned. amazing. Like, it's for the first time hearing that, that there's something called <laughs> multidiscipline. Yeah. So, basically, today you must call me TKJ multidiscipline. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, man, uh, yeah. tell us uh, about your acting before you go to, to box. <sighs> Yeah. Because like no, I'm not alone in this. I'm not alone in this. I'm not alone. Because this is part of yeah. positivity. You you your story is positive. Your yeah, story is yeah, positive. Yeah. Though like there are some difficulties, there are tribulations there and there. Yeah, Can yeah. you please tell us more about how did you move from acting to poet? I mean, okay, let's just stop where I where I started acting. Yeah. So. As you, when you're young and you see the likes of Chuck Norris, the likes of Sylvester Stallone, you know, you're like, I want to be like that guy. So my dream, I was like, I want to meet that guy. So at age three, um, I, I got jumped into acting. What happened was we got to professional kids. It was the agency I was with. We got to professional kids. And then my sister was supposed to go, but then she acted all shy and stuff. And I'm like, but I can do this. Yeah. And my father, I mean, I'm like, I, let this run, let this run. And I was like, okay, cool. And then after then, it was smooth sailing from then. Mm. So I did that for 12 years of my life. I've done stuff with Ringo. I've done stuff with Generations. I've sold that to Josie Age. The Bang Bang Club, yeah, right. Zone 14, which was like, I think there was the pinnacle of my entire acting career. Yeah, true, true. Zone 14, because that was the one thing I was constantly on. People constantly saw me for quite some time. Mm-hmm. So that's what, that's what I was doing. And then after that, when I got to high school, due to pressures at school, honestly speaking, that's my school requires you to do a lot of stuff. So trying to balance, I, I did not have the ability by then the, uh, to balance both my acting career and my school life. So true. I sacrificed on us like I, I'll jump back into acting and then after that after listening to a couple of readings by one of my English teachers Ms. S. Van Sale and Mrs. Espling I was like I like poetry but oh. we even we all don't start there. we all start as I want to be like Lil Wayne I want to be like Drake <laughs> I want to be like Tiger but then I saw maybe this 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 whole rapping thing isn't for all of us so I was yeah. like but I think poetry is is, is my solitude yeah. it's, it's my solace so. it and that's 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 where I stuck yeah like he, you went through all of this just because like there is a chain that is waiting for you for you to become a poet for you to write books mm-hmm. so let us get to it we are having a, a book here <laughs> so your name basically it's uh at moon mm-hmm. during the day yeah, during that, the that day. is your artist name. yeah that, that's 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 my pain name i mean okay. i'm something i am not as common yeah. as the sun during the day you know mm. i'm something as yes if you guys have seen those random days yeah. where you see the moon and the sun yeah. during the same day so i'm something as as different as that i'm something as unique and as uncommon as seeing the moon during the day at moon during the day yeah the the day. Day. there's a lot of stories there. <laughs> because such things like, like it's very rare to find them and it's very rare to see them happening yes exactly. yes so, uh, another thing Tell us about this book because I've just read one of the poems here. Yeah. That uh, the, the topic says uh, I don't wanna hate you because right now in South Africa we live in the uh, in a nation that is full of gender-based violence. Number one, mm-hmm. every single day we see a lot of women being killed, children being uh, killed. Also, like there's a lot of abuse taking place in our country. And now you've just written this poem. I don't wanna hate you. Can you please uh, enlighten us? Uh, ah, yeah. right. With I don't want to hurt you. Yeah. It's actually got nothing to do with gender-based okay, violence. Okay, okay. But I can just find it where I don't want to hurt you is. Mm. Uh, 
Where are you? Mm, as maybe you're yeah, busy. Uh, look yeah. for, can you please just tell me more about the about the poem? No, the po- I don't want to hurt you. The, the, the poem is literally like I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt your feelings. Not I don't want to hurt you and break your back <laughs> and beat you up. Yeah, no, man. my guy is 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 nothing like that. It's, okay. it's nothing for me like that. My guy, so but it's it's really just about a guy who was like, I know who you are. Yeah, man. I know how you feel. I know what you do when you do the certain things. So I really do not want to hurt you. I I I want to protect you in all aspects and everything that it is you. So yes, um, that's 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 the whole mm. thing of the poem. Oh, it's all about feelings. It's all about feelings, my yeah. guy. Yo, um, I think if I can read you silence, if it's here, yeah. it's on the it's on the other book. Yeah, and that's when you that's when you you hear yeah, mm. right? Because it's 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 a poem where. I then express the, the the difficulties of living not just inside Africa, of being a human being. You know, Uti, why is it that people expect us to be silent? Yeah, man. Yeah, let's. I'm going to read you silence then. Uh, yeah, I don't want to hurt you. It's quite in the beginning. Then after that, let's read. I don't want to hurt you. Real quick. I hurt you. Yeah, then um, after I'll read e silence after that. Yes, just, man. I don't want to hurt you, right? Man. Yeah. Like, and then and then my poetry, my books, and people will never understand why. I'll I'll always put in the song suggestion I was listening to when I wrote the poem. So here, yeah. um, I don't want to hurt you. It's better when read to hurt you by with the weekend, right? Okay, cool. So let's kind of read. I don't want to hurt you. It's I think it's, it's really. Cool. I I know how you smile. I mm. know how you laugh. I know when your hair feels amazing. I know your giggles. Know why you feel. Know why you cry. Know how you like the back of my hand. Know how you like your forehead kisses. Mm-hmm. I know how you like your booty rubs. I know how your hugs make you feel warm. Know which books get your eyes to drop your glasses. I know why you. I know why you feel protected. I yeah. know why you feel weird about it. Know your insecurities. I know your thought process. I know why you sing. I know why I fear living in my space. I know why it feels off. I just can't understand the light flashes in your eyes and you choose to keep your eyes closed. Mm. For I will hug you until your soul knows home. You understand? So in this part, the person is now sitting. It's like, listen, I know what you're going through. I know what you eat. I know basically it's selling you. I know you like the back of my hand. I've known yeah. you like I know me. So with all that being said, you, you choose to hide all that, all the wonders, all the beauties about you. You choose to hide all that when we could be doing the most with it. So don't hide that. Let, let me embrace you up until you are able to. Do that for yourself. True, true, true. So that's what the poem is about. So the, the one for gender based violence, also gender based, the other gender based, <laughs> so, but when the one to proper gender based um, <laughs> is silence, where I, and then you, you will hear um, where I mention where the person, where the victim is, where where the stories are, where, where, where everything is happening. So yeah, let's, let's take a read at silence. Mm-hmm. Right? It's silence. So y'all were expecting me to speak. Y'all expecting me to speak when you choke my neck until my eyes cannot speak. Y'all were expecting me to speak when she was 37 and I was 13. When I kept, when he kept groping me, even when I cried, uncle, stop, please. Y'all expect me to speak when she firstly disagreed, but after a few kisses, she said, yes, indeed. Yeah, man. Really expect me to speak, me, to speak. When it has been a decade in matrimony, and for nine years she took pens to discipline me. I reported this to the police, the emasculation of Colonel Mkise laughing at me. Remember the groping I cried about and got no heed? I am two months with child now. The family asked me not to speak for his money, Hast they agreed. The same person does his self-defense routine on my mother's sister and continues to remind her you're nothing without me. Y'all expect me to speak when I so proudly want to be Ave Maria when I sing. After which, after each sermon, the father in his room says, Come here, my son. Come see, so that I can bless thee. Taking my seat pains me now. I question if the father can hear me. Mm. Y'all expect me to speak when the music we play hides my cries. And please, y'all expect me to speak, though. When my tears have no shoulders of their own, y'all expect me to speak. Even when you hear the only life you think of is that of your own. So in here, I'm yeah. highlighting mm, situations we face every day. I mean, yeah. we starting with, with, with the 
second line when you're expecting me to speak when you choke my neck until my eyes cannot speak that is gender based violence yes, man. that is when you hear the boyfriends killing the girlfriends and stuff mm-hmm. like that you know you're expecting me to speak when she was 37 and I was 13 yeah, man. that is statutory rape mm-hmm. by an older woman with a younger man yeah. you understand Versus so you're expecting me to speak when firstly she disagreed but after a few kisses she said yes she did that is coercion mm-hmm. people need to understand that is another form of rape mm-hmm. People never catch that. So when uh, mommy out, you have to. She's like, no, I'm not in the mood. I don't feel like it. And then all of a sudden, ah, come on. You have now made it to. She never wanted to. And people need to understand that level of guys. You need to now. Yeah. And she says no. Yeah. It's a no. It's it's not a convince me to. Yes, that is amazing. It's it's, it's a no. It's a no. I mean, um, where's this? When a decade in matrimony and then for nine years she took, uh, she took pants to discipline me. Yeah. Now we're speaking about domestic violence. The only domestic violence we people we hear about mostly yeah. is the domestic violence against women. But have you guys heard about the ones against men? Mm. No, you don't because okay, don't kiss us okay. How how she do the way? How do they hit you with a pen? You understand? You hear conversations like that, and then as a man you become emasculated. You're like, mm. but I came here for help. It's, yeah. it's, it's not about who's masculine, it's not about the bad indoor. It's I came here for help. Your job is to come home and then try and solve this. Yeah. But what you guys did was, I know, me, ha, because in my house it doesn't happen. Homegrown Radio. Positivity with your boy Tik AJ. Today I'm joined by Kuzo. Like we are still talking about your super amazing books, anthology. No, we are, you see, we are, like day by day, bro, we are learning. We are learning. Yeah, so, bro, we are still talking about this super amazing poem you yeah, wrote, silence. Silence. Yeah, silence. Because now, uh, I, I believe that through positivity and through the knowledge that we have uh, as a bantu, there is a lot of knowledge from the box because like nowadays we live in the world where people they no longer believe in box like 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 people will always be on their social media everybody right now is on social media mm-hmm. like now we okay guys let us read books it's very rare to find people like by say in a group in a group reading books it's very rare to find that yeah it's it's it's, it's kind of a challenge mm. but so now like we're trying to proclaim that and mm. we're trying to tell people okay guys there is positivity through reading books yes yes, yes i mean 
I mean, of course, would say some people's ideas are, are invested in there. Some people will tell you, I was reading this when I thought of this, and then that's why I created that. Yeah. You understand? So reading does open up your mind. Do True. You, there could be something locked in you, and you could be like, ah, it's been locked for years, and you don't understand what it is. I bet you pick up a book. It doesn't have to be my anthology. Um, it can be my anthology. It can be the Bible. Yeah. It can be any religious book. It can be a, a, a book on, on superstition. You can, it, it could open up an avenue to new things, to new beginnings. Yeah, man. And, and that's why people fail to understand what reading does. Reading takes you out of whatever space you're in and mentally creates a space where you are now able to recreate what the person has written in your own image. Yeah. So you are then to see, okay, this is what's supposed to happen, this is what's supposed to happen, okay. When they say, the grass was green, you're like, oh. yeah. but in a book, they say, the grass was green with flickers of amber. You understand? Mm. Mm. Okay. Now I see what they mean by mm. flickers of amber. Means mean the grass was green, but it was fading. Mm. Why? Because you, it seemed like it was being burnt. Mm. So, and that is what reading does. Mm. It opens up your imagination. Yes, it is true that uh, when you read, you are opening your mind. And, and Eli said that when you read, you are feeding your mind with knowledge. You are feeding your mind with a lot of uh, wisdom. Mm. Wisdom. Because uh, I still believe in my life that uh, through reading, I'm going to gain a lot of wisdom. Mm. Because mm. not everything, I'm, I'm going to get it on videos. I'm going to get it on like on YouTube. Most like everything. Edge. But now I need to go back to the fundamental keys of life. Reading. 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 Like it's one of the reading. basics. Reading. Basics of life. Reading. Reading, reading does the most disease, my mm. guys. And people don't want to understand. Mm. Reading <laughs> does the wows. Mm. Does the wows. <laughs> so man, uh, what message do you preach through your poems, basically? What specific message do you preach? No, my guy, as I said, I, I write I write about everything and yeah, anything, man. right? So I write about literally everything and anything. So as I said, Kusile does writing about uh, the, the basic, yeah, not the basic, well, the, the, the more the drastic basic. situations yeah, in space in South Africa, right? The rape, the, the, there was an issue I highlighted where because an uncle has money, they raped a niece and then the niece was told to keep quiet mm. because this guy has money. He's going to pay you guys off. And if he goes to jail, which means the family doesn't have money. You understand? Those are situations we now face in Bidane because there's this person and there's that person who has a certain position somewhere. And if that person is affected, then the entire family is affected, even if they do something wrong. And this doesn't just go to family members. This means your friends as well. Just because your friend has, has, is in a higher job or as, as a business is doing well, once they do something stupid, you must be able to say, my guy, but... Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But no, and a lot of conversation. No, um, guys, mask are floppies. Yeah, that's quasi like a weekend. So, Gini Ukwaza is more important than U. Yes, man, that is amazing. Yeah, yeah. That is amazing, man. Because you are a poet, you write books, you write poems. Yeah. Can I challenge you? You, you, can, <laughs> you can have fun. Can I challenge you? Uh, can you please give us maybe four lines? You speak about pain. The word pain just give us some gems. It's pain. It's the gruesome feeling of being wanted. Mm. It's the monster in me that cries to come out, but I dare not to. It's the feeling of being wanted by something you hate being wanted by. Yeah. And it's grace scrubbing your back with a pot scrubber, hoping you'd kiss it back. Mm. Like yo, yo, that is amazing, bro. Yeah, sure. So, and guys, another thing that I've noticed about you, like you guys who do poems, yeah. like why do you like to like you love to complicate things? I know. Yeah. You don't complicate. You don't like complicate. simple English, guys. You don't complicate. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's 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 another thing. As I said, I'm not just teaching you. Yeah. On on imagery, I'm teaching you words. You see, True. I'm teaching you what I read. I mean, I mean, people know. Instead of saying, "Don't waste my time," "Don't waste your time," saying, "Don't procrastinate." You have yeah. now told the person. Yeah. You have said the exact same thing. So, yeah. other than that, it gives you now a better understanding. Because maybe I said, "Don't procrastinate." Mm -hmm. It is now gives you now a, a better feel of what you are doing and how bad is it and how dire the situation you are doing okay, is. Yeah, yes, so, yeah. as I said, it, it's it's more of a bigger imagination. It's more of a bigger picture. It's more of a creative than it is. More of, I'm flexing that I can read 50 books at a time and I know 70,000 words. No, it's more of, I'm trying to make sure I'm specific in describing what I'm told, telling you about. So, that's, that's amazing. That's, that's, that's amazing. Because uh, I know, like, 
Uh, and on, you've just taught me the word multidisciplined. Yeah, you yeah, see, yeah. like from now on, like a, as like I've just said it before, <laughs> TKJ multidisciplined. Yeah, and so I'm, I'm no longer TKJ on. Yeah, multidisciplined. Multidisciplined. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. And uh, an- another thing, man, we know that we live in a country poverty exists, man. Mm-hmm. And now there are people they are unemployed. There's poverty, unemployment. People that. They are doing nothing with their own lives. People, they want to give up. People like, like Joe, there's a lot that is happening in our lives because every single day we go through stuff, we go through difficulties of life. Mm-hmm. So as a poet or as someone who writes books, what message would you give to those people who want to give up? As I said, bro, like it'll be the one thing I tell everyone that's going through the most difficult situation. I may not know, yeah. I'll not lie to you, I may not know how you feel exactly. I may not know what you're going through exactly, but pain is pain. Yeah, and I don't know the amount of pain you're feeling, but I know that it is pain. Learn to breathe. It is okay. You, you are struggling currently, so being frustrated, being stressed, being told, that having all those negative feelings, how has that helped you? Mm. It has continued to weigh you down. Mm. You, that's what I tell you. Breathe. Go through. Feel. It. I'm not saying don't feel it. Yeah. Feel it, but don't allow it to run you. Don't allow yeah, it to man. be the only thing that you think about. Feel it. After finish feeling it, calm down. Breathe, walk. Hmm. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, trust me, I failed my trick. Okay, cool, it's fine. It's fine, it happens. Yeah, what did we do? Okay, we went studying, we we're partying. Cool, now how do we change that? Okay, we will now start studying. Simple things. You have now given yourself an avenue because why are you frustrated? No, but I failed my trick. Yeah. Well, you, you've now defeated the purpose of learning a lesson because yeah. you are still being <laughs> best what a lesson. <laughs> and instead of now, yeah. okay, what can I learn? What can I read? Hence, I yeah. tell you, breathe. Yeah. It's like when a person asks you a very difficult question, yeah. breathe. Yeah. Calm yourself. Mm. Think about what you're going to say. Then carry on. Same thing in the situation. Before you react, think. Mm. Okay, what must happen? What's the situation? Now let's go through. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. As you've heard from Mr. Edmond during the day, this is like, yo, this name is amazing. Moon during the day. Ed. Moon during, during the, the day, day. because they would have just you know, like, at, <laughs> moon at moon during, during the, day. the day. So can you please maybe uh, in life maybe the things that you wanna do in the next coming five years and, and at the same time you wanna achieve them in a positive way. No, uh, my, my guy, we are here. I mean, we all want to finish poverty. We all want yeah. to stop unemployment. We all, but we have to be realistic about it. So right now, I I would like to bring all my friends and my family into a space where I am an instrument for them to jump onto so that their projects can come through. I want to be running forward. I want to be run I want to be in the limelight so that I can pull them. True. You know? Um, something as simple as my friend who sends a leaf, my son. He does he does suits. He he's a tailor. So I want to be at every at every event where he suits. You know? Uh, my friend who tells on my He's an MC. So I want at every event I go to, he must be the MC. Type things. I want to bring everyone. And I'm saying there's, there's, there's connections. I want the yeah. company I use to use them. So I want to be a, 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 a pivot to to help them yeah. jump, to, to help them lever to where they want to be. That's the problem. That's, that's what I want to It is said that you need to surround yourself with greatness in order for you to find yourself in great yes. places. Yes. Yeah, yeah, man. Let it. Let us do the uh, the promotion of this book, man. If I wanna have this book, yeah. this uh, stunning book, man, and it's full of uh, beautiful poems, mm-hmm. encouraging poems, mm-hmm. how how do I get it, man? Oh, my guy, um, you can you can contact me on WhatsApp or call me on zero seven two yeah four five six seven five one three or email me on shinakwe ninety seven at gmail dot com yeah or hit me up on Facebook or uh, Kuto Shilakwe or on Instagram at noon during the day. There you will then you will then find yeah. where I could tell you about the banking details. The book costs two hundred rands. Yeah, two hundred bucks. <laughs> the book is not two hundred guys. So it, it, it costs two hundred rands, and yeah. then you are the, I'll then give you the details on how to mm. get the book from me. But if I am to deliver it, when well, when you are not within my radius, mm. then it will cost you an extra hundred rand. Yeah. for me to deliver <laughs> to to create it to yeah. yeah. So like maybe your friends are, are wondering, like the people who follow you, when can you expect the next book? Next book. Um, I'm giving this book a lifespan of ten months. Ten months. Oh, oh, oh people don't understand. No, the next book is already written. Yeah. It's done. Yeah. Like 
just waiting to be printed. So just waiting for this one's lifespan. And then I'm working on the third book right now. So mm. in about 10 months or so, I might just release the next book. Yeah, that is amazing. And uh, what I love about the show that you, you have already mentioned your your, your social media platforms, yeah. okay, where this is where people can get yeah, you. Yeah, so get a hold of me, yeah. Maybe on WhatsApp, it's... it's uh, no, it's literally when I say it's on WhatsApp, I yeah. mean that that number is not it's not it's 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 not my personal number. Yes. It's more of a you calling, you contacting me to yeah. get a book. If you're contacting me for other things, ah my guy, don't don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing, that is amazing. This is power of positivity. Yeah. Today uh, I'm just honored and privileged to have you on the show, man, telling us more about what is happening in this world, what we are writing about, yeah, yeah, yeah. the things that are happening. Like the things every single day, bro, we experience a lot of things. And mm-hmm. earlier on you've just told me that wherever you are, you write. Even now, like you you yeah, you get a lot of content. <laughs> and, and, and anything and everything is content. Yeah, man. And right now you've seen TKJ. Bro, there's a lot of content you need to write about. <laughs> yeah, so you must, yeah, there yeah, must be yeah. uh, like, uh, I don't know how many thousands of pages <laughs> of Tick AJ. So very soon, very soon, you will see writing my own book. Ah, I'm going to buy. You better bro, write that I am inspired. So you I'm going to write, I'm book, gonna write yeah. my own book. Thank you very much for joining us, bro. We are really honored and privileged Always to have you. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Yes, this is Power of Positivity with your boy Tick AJ. In life, you need to pay attention to what you love. And when you love what you're doing, there are a lot of benefits that you're going to get there because you love what you're doing. So what I can tell you is that believe in your, car, in your craft, believe in your work, and the, the goal that I serve will bless your hustle. And that was positive. So hold on to that fundamental key of hope. Have hope. Then on the other side of pain is something good. So we are outside. This is power of positivity.